Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I will show you how can you can get your own custom skin after the Delta Ring update, I believe, for Xbox. Pretty bland. And then Party Cooper Edge just comes along. So yeah, I'll show you how to do it. Let's get right into it. So, um, you obviously need a computer like the last step if you're using chronicoveride.com. But if you're using MCPDL, I can... You can do that too, but I'm going to show you the chronic override method. So, obviously, you have to just do the same steps you did in my last video about the getting skin packs thing. Whereas, you download your skins and the pack, and then you transfer it into the file downloader thing. And then after you do that, you just, um... And then after you do that, you just go here, and you click on storage. No, darn it. All these things. They yeah, always malfunction. Now click on storage. Okay, I'll just wait for a few seconds. It does this a lot. Oh, here we go. So, your, well, obviously your thing should be in local storage. Just like right here. And no one even not like to open this anything right now. But then you, you just, okay, something weird just happened. It does this all the time, but once again, you click on that little checkbox right there. That no, I would not. Thank you. Um, click on this, and you want to click move to. Obviously, the one I selected was not an actual skin, but it's a good one for like a gamer picture or something. It's like Sponge Diver's music. He's a good YouTuber. After you save that, um, other than file downloader for this method, you'll only need one app, and that is MC Add-ons Manager Extended. You're going to click that, and this app is just awesome. You, it's thanks to Chronic Override and Osaxley. They helped me. I was literally very ticked off when I when Microsoft turned off this file system access, and I'm really glad that I was able to get my skins back. I made also I I also made different variations on the skin decks if you wanted to download them. I just wanted to. Okay. Don't mind that if it does that. It it, it it does that all the time to me. And you just need to wait for it to get the packs. After you do that, you're going to click on import. And you'll see your downloads folder right here. You're going to click on that. And then as you can see, these are some of my skin packs. But what you do is you just click on it and it will import it and then you want to delete the source pack file. I recommend just saying no, but um Yeah. So after you import the file to your mods and skin packs, you can exit out of MC Analyst Manager and you can load up your Minecraft. And you need to do this every single time you sign in on Minecraft. Or else, um, you're not going to have that much fun because I literally just quit Minecraft until they fixed this. Because I did not want to play Minecraft until this was fixed. Microsoft is, gosh, Microsoft became a party pooper at that time. Glad we defeated them, at least. So, you want to wait until the creepy... Screen pops up. I just call it creepy for fun. But then hit sign out and sign out of your account. After you do that, sign right back in. And wait for that to load up.
it will sync the user data See, this is my hollow skin, my version. But what you want to do is you want to click on one of these characters and you want to click on edit character, obviously. Hit the menu button to go to classic skins and then hit own and your packs should be there. And that's the chronic override method. I can also show you how you can get it for... Um, MCPDL2, but then I'm going to show you how to get mods, so see you in the next video then. Bye!